Hi guys, welcome to the lecture on self joints. Uh, we have this customers table here and this table contains all the information about our customers like their customer name Customer name is basically the company name uh, uh, Customer address customer CD state uh, and the customer contact column which actually contains um, our contact information for that specific company uh, Imagine or just suppose you wanted to send a mailing to all the customer contacts who work for the same company for which Jim Jones work. So right now we have Jim Jones here who actually works for the company Fun For All. We know that now because we can see it in the table. But imagine while you're writing the SQL code, you don't know this information that which company Jim Jones work. Um, and we wanted to send a mailing to all the people who actually work for the same company that Jim Jones work. So right now we can see in the table that there are two people who work for the Fun For All company, Jim Jones and Denise. Uh, but how would we write that in in our SQL statement? We can write we have two ways of achieving that um, the one way is using the subqueries and the other way is using the self joins uh, So let's look at the the subquery uh, Way first and then we will see how we can do the same thing in self join way so we will have select Just ID name uh, from customers table where cust name equals And I'll explain everything what I'm doing here um, from, from customers where cust, cust contact equals Jim Jones. Um, so what exactly am I doing here? I'm using subquery. So this innermost query is going to execute first and it's going to is, is going to give me uh, The cust name which is actually the company name of our contact Jim Jones So so that way we will know. Oh, so Jim Jones actually work for fun for all and then we will use that information uh, in our outer query uh, which is this this query right here uh, so our cust name will be fun for all and then um, we will have all the information uh, for the company or the cust name fun for all so let's execute this and see what we get source join script.sql uh huh i think i didn't save it command s and let's execute this again awesome so as we can see uh, we got two records as expected uh, Jim Jones and Denise um, which who actually work for fun for all company so that's awesome but how can we achieve the same thing using self joints uh, we can do the same thing using self joints I'll show you how here select uh, let's just copy this for now from customers table and we're going to use the alias as c1 and let's just make it small c1 uh, customers uh, c2 where c1 dot first name equals c2 dot first name and c2 dot first name equals Jim Jones. Uh, 
and we can also reference or call this by their table aliases like this so that SQL knows which table we are talking about although in this case it doesn't really matter because they are both the same tables that's why they are called self joins so what exactly is happening in this uh, in this select statement looks kind of complicated but it's not trust me uh, we have a select statement that's actually referencing uh, two tables with the same name uh, we have customers table here and we have again we have customer table here uh, and we are using table aliases c1 and c2 respectively for them um, what exactly is happening here is c2.tus name is jim jones because that's the information we want we want um, um, all the records um, for the company that jim jones worked for and how we can achieve that is using this custom equal jim jones and we're going to join on customer name c1.customer name equals c2.customer name um, and let's see what we get I'm going to comment out this old code here. And let's see, save it and let's see what we get. Oops, it says it's an empty set. Let's see what's going on here. Oh. This is not customer name, it's actually customer contact, as you can see. Uh, save it, and let's see what I get. As you can see, we got the same result set that we got for our subquery result. Um, it might look a bit complex, but trust me, it's not. Just go give it a shot. Um, only thing to remember is use the table aliases when you're using self-joins. Um, they're very beneficial and you might also be wondering why do we use self joins when we can do the same thing with sub queries the reason is self joins are, are slightly faster than uh, sub queries so your your queries might run a bit fast um, so I mean if that really doesn't matter to you you can use sub queries otherwise just use self joins thanks guys that's it for this lecture